Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. I think it was my father that first told me this, but he said that uh, it was the first movie I sat through without crying or sleeping or getting up and running around or something. He said, you must learn the ways of the Force if you were to come with me to Alderaan. And I was glued to the thing the minute it started, and at the end of it, I said one thing, and that was, let's see it again. And they, they did take me 23 times. The Force can have a strong influence on the weak mind. John Adams was four years old when George Lucas's Star Wars came out in 1977. Exposure to the Force at an impressionable age is pretty much a given among members of the Greater Rochester Area Star Wars Fan Club and among Star Wars fans in general. It's basically 20 or 20, 30 year old young men who are obsessed with the film. Who's this? That's the Vader. Darth Vader? Obsession could explain why Randy Eddy named his youngest son Anakin and his other two Luke and Ben. He's also amassed a Star Wars collection over the past 20 years, which is generally regarded as the area's largest by other collectors. A Burger King Frisbee. He values it at around $50,000, but says he would never sell any of it. He calls it an addiction. Some people smoke, some people drink, and they have Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, Eddie feels the attraction has something to do with nostalgia. The only thing I can say is it brings me back to my childhood. I mean, the best part of my childhood. Have you got everything yet? Nope. Eddie isn't alone. About 200 fans waited up to five hours until one minute past midnight on May 3rd for first crack at the new episode one merchandise. That's a pretty one. Again, mostly young men who spent a lot on toys. Get a life is just an expression that comes to mind immediately. Um, be, but it, it, it's a testimony to Lucas's thoroughness. And for someone um, who honestly lacks some sort of um, anchor in their own life, it's easy to jump into it because it's a fairly inclusive world. Judge me by my size, do you? Hmm? Dupre is also an ordained minister who believes Lucas's fictional force is harmless unless it keeps fans from searching for true spirituality. Life creates it, makes it grow. Uh, the Force is kind of religion light to me. And I don't believe it. Many ardent Star Wars fans are aware of a certain contempt their worship of Lucas's work inspires in others. I don't think that's, you know, dorky at all. I think it's pretty cool. You know, I don't, I don't mind know, people knowing that I admire that. Who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows it? Co-workers think I'm a nutcase. Um, they, uh, they call me a wacko, but... At last we will have revenge. I may, may be a wacko, but they're the ones asking me for tickets. <laughs> yeah, I'm their best friend now. <laughs> Light.